So guys, it's my latest build. Um, 5.56. It's a SPR build, special purpose rifle. Uh, pretty much just started this one from the lower receiver. I used the Noveski chainsaw. Yeah, you can see the chainsaw down there. Pretty cool. There we go. And then um, one with the Viltor upper. So I can show you guys that this is not loaded. Viltor Mer upper. And uh, this is a Noveski Noveski NSR 13.5 inch rail. Super thin. Modular rail. Has the movable. I got these, I think, nine slot any sections that could be moved around. Um, the barrel is 18.5 inch mid-length gas system. Barrel's a select match or a it's the Rainier match grade. It's not the Ultra match. I forget what it's called. Just a Rainier match barrel. So I haven't shot this yet. We'll see how how the accuracy is. But for 250 bucks for a match grade barrel, I would give it a shot. And um, I don't know, they say you can return it if you're not impressed with the accuracy. It has a 223 wild train chamber, so uh, it could shoot 223 or 5.56. I guess it has like a 223 chamber with a longer throat, and it's rated for 5.56 pressures, so match grade chamber. Up front is a um, phantom flash hiding compensator. Mm -hmm. YHM. Yeah, YHM. This was only thirty dollars, so I had to try that out because basically I love my FFs. My primary weapon is five five six compensator, flash hiding compensator. But if this does the same thing for thirty dollars. This will probably be on all my builds because it's good looking. It has no holes on the bottom. Aggressive, I like it. Up top we got a um, Vortex 5x15. It's the Viper HS series. Exclusive from Midway. That was on sale for 400 normally 500 and it sits in a LaRue SPR mount. And uh, just a Mo stock, Mo grip. I think I got a DPMS lower parts kit. Actually, this lower is not going to be the final lower. I have, have a few of these lower receivers, and I have a couple more lower part kits on the way. It's probably going to end up with one of the Magpul's new stocks. But, um, the ACS Lite or the STR, I don't know, I ordered both, they're both coming, so I'll see which one I like better. We'll probably end up on this build. <clears throat> Dude, we should talk about these chainsaws a little more. A lot of guys wonder about Noveski chainsaw parts. And they think that oh, for $20 more, for whatever more, they'd rather just get brand new parts. But let me answer some questions here. These are, I don't know if you saw these yet, these are all chainsaw Noveski parts. And basically, if you read the Noveski website, these have been kicked back by Noveski because of, strictly because of cosmetic blemishes. And basically, Noveski is so strict on their quality control that a lot of these things you can't even really find like why it got kicked back to be a chainsaw. See the chainsaws are stamped right under the forward assist. And I mean the only cosmetic blemish I could find on this was like that little mark right there. Like give me a break, you know? Oh look look there's a mark right there. That's probably why it got kicked back. Like 
anyone really would give a shit about that. But if that little mark would save you like 20 bucks, you know, that's 20 bucks that you could put somewhere else. And on the lowers, I actually saved a huge amount of money. I got these for $99. And I bought like three or four. You cannot even find, it takes a while to find the blemish on these. Like, I can't. I can't find it on the... Oh, here. There's a little bit of black that came off right there. When this gun's together, you'll never see that. Not Even if you did see it, I wouldn't care. For $99 for a Noveski lower because of that. Let's see this one. The chainsaw. Well... I do not know what's wrong with this one. I honestly cannot tell you why they kicked this one back. I don't see any cosmetic blemishes. I mean, it could be like that little scratch right there. I can't see anything else more. And then here's another lower. Another chainsaw lower. Cosmetic blemish. I mean, again, I can't even find the cosmetic blemish on this. But it's going to be something minor, something that's not even noticeable. Yeah, once again, I can't find the blemish on this. I think I found it before. I remember when these came into the stores, they had like about 40 of these. And even with the staff over at the store, we were all just looking at them, like, kind of playing a game, like, can you even find the blemish on these things? And a lot of them we couldn't even find. Like the one you picked up, we couldn't find blemish on that. Yeah? No, I didn't have one. Anyway, that's a little thing about the chainsaw lowers. You know, there's a lot of shit on the internet about these things. They fit nice. Fit and finish is nice, man. Mm. So if you can save some money on these, do it. And uh, I went with the Bravo company manufacturer, Bolt Carrier Group. Basically, because all the research I did, that's like about the best one you can find. They actually test fire all their BCGs. I didn't see any point in getting anything more expensive than that. I'll probably put a Geisley trigger in this eventually too, as soon as I get save up another 300 bucks. But I'm gonna go shoot this today. See how it works. I plan on loading the 77, 77 green Sierras for this, but for today we're just gonna shoot 55 green because that's all I got. <clears throat> all right. Looks good.